I looked over my shoulder and I'd seen him out in the waves and then I saw him get a little further, a little further and I just went to go out and check on him and that's when I realized something was wrong. The rough surf off Fort Morgan claiming another life just days after the death of a Baldwin County Sheriff Deputy William Bill Smith. And tonight investigators identifying the victim as 63 year old man from North Alabama. Fox News Shelby Myers joining us here in studio with details. And Shelby, these tragedies could get law enforcement and city leaders looking into more ways to keep people on vacation here safe. Yeah, exactly, Lanise. That's what Baldwin County Sheriff Huey Hoss Mack is saying, but there definitely will be some challenges to making the changes. And also tonight, we're hearing from multiple witnesses who tried to save the 63 year old from drowning. I rolled him over so his head was up, and then about three seconds later, I found the sand under my feet. So the Lord just lifted it up under me, and I was able to pull him back, started shouting for help. It was a frantic team effort from beachgoers on Fort Morgan today. I seen, uh, seen them dragging him up, and uh, then somebody hollered, dial 911, and I ran down there and helped have drag him out and another man out of the water. Multiple people rushing in to try and save 63 year old James Campbell from drowning. There was probably four or five different people relieving each other doing CPR to the to the fire and rescue showed up. Life flight was called in. We all um, worked together as a team and prayed over him and and did did the very best that we could. Unfortunately, Baldwin County deputies say Campbell, who was vacationing from Athens, didn't make it. It's really sad, you know, just sad. Just everything about it was sad. Campbell died just off the beach at the end of Buchanan Circle East, a spot surrounded by beach homes less than two miles east of the fort. Three days prior, Baldwin County Sheriff's Deputy Bill Smith lost his life rescuing swimmers in the Gulf not far from here. With worries mounting over the dangers on Fort Morgan, Sheriff Huey Haas Mack saying in an interview with us earlier this week, his department is going to take a look at making it safer for swimmers. What is so much different than the Fort Morgan area versus Gulf Shores and Orange Beach is a large portion of the beach on Fort Morgan Road is private property. It's not public property. So a flag system would not work on private property. So that's why it presents its own set of challenges. But certainly, uh, we would be open to looking at anything. That's why we want to look at the data, and we'll certainly make that part of our further investigation. The sheriff also says they will plan to look at getting more lifeguards and beach attendants on Fort Morgan as well. In the studio tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.